Just Edgy here, bringing you another Gen 1 video, and in this one we are trying to reclaim the kingdom. That's right, we were recently dethroned, but we are trying to get back to our rightful place atop Gen 1. So here we are in the 4 spot, we are hoping to get to that 1 spot so that we can call ourselves a king once more. And we've got Raichu versus Charmeleon here at the start, which is all right, not great, not terrible, just all right. Uh, we're gonna switch into Jigs here, uh, hopefully to get paralyzed, which is no big deal, and paralyze right back, I think is the plan. Once Raichu is paralyzed, it's one-shottable by Golem, so we feel pretty good about that. Uh, if Safari Zone decides to switch out here, then we'll paralyze something else, and that's fine, too. But Jigs is pretty good. It's really hard to one or even two shot it just because of the health that it has. It's at 386. Woo! Wowza. Nothing compared to Wigs, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Safari Zone is realizing that you, you can't handle the Jigs, you know? I've got that one attack where I'm floating above you and I do a little down A press or something like that and one shots you. That's uh that's what we're hoping for here. Alright, so I do I like I like Jigglypuff a lot. Um I don't know what Nidoran's really gonna do to me, so I think I'm gonna take one turn to find out. It is Body Slam, okay. It did 33. Is it a three shot? It is a three shot. Double kick isn't quite so, and he's fully paralyzed, we'll take it. Uh, he body slams us again. I guess just wanting to go for damage there. It's probably better than Thunderbolt and more accurate than Blizzard, but that's all right. Still tough to knock out Jiggly in one shot here, so we're hoping that we can paralyze something else. Going for the Sing seems really greedy, but also amazing when it hits, so who knows? We'll see, we'll see. Um, Sandshrew comes out here. And it might Swords Dance. Um, it'll probably just Earthquake, but Shelter's got enough defense that it can handle this thing pretty well. Yep. It is faster than Sandshrew also, so it can do some good damage there. Um, it might be a little risky to explode right here, but I'm really strongly considering it. And I think I'm going to do it. Awesome. I wanted to get rid of the Raichu, so... Very happy that that worked out. Um, and now, it's kind of too bad because that was a good answer for our um, Sand True friend. So I'm going to go back into a water type here. All right, we're taking that. Maybe he'll ask that. I don't know. He'll just go Sand True. That's fine. We can take an Earthquake and hit back with a Giant Surf. And then we can switch out really comfortably. It, it's time to let Jigglypuff go. That's okay. Kadabra can clean this up. And then the nice thing is that Vaporeon can't really touch the slow bro, so we still have we still have him around. I guess we could have just let slow bro go down to 20% and then still know that it could handle the Vaporeon. I don't think Surf from Vaporeon would get it from 20%. So maybe this was a bit of a misplay for us. Because um, we could have still had a half health Jigglypuff. Yeah, so maybe a bit of a misplay for us. We do get to paralyze Staryu, which is nice. And I think Kadabra wins this battle most of the time. Alright, and the forfeit comes through. Okay, great. So we're moving up that ladder. Uh, yeah, Kadabra wins against Staryu most of the time, I think, because of the special drop, and especially if Staryu didn't have Thunder Wave, it would be pretty nice. Uh, okay. 
So while we wait for this next battle, I'll remind you that to be a real king, it's more than just getting back to number one on the ladder. It's having a set of loyal subjects. And so if you are enjoying the content, if you want to see the kingdom thrive, please consider subscribing to this channel. We are hoping to end up with 500 subscribers. And once we do, we'll be able to make these videos a little bit more regularly. It seems like Gen 1 is the most popular of the videos that I make, but go ahead and check out a few different ones, see what interests you, and, and we'll see if we can make some special uh, videos for each and every person in the kingdom. I would really appreciate the support, and you would really appreciate the content, so it's a win-win for everybody. As we wait here for our next battle, we continue to think about how it's right within our grasp now. Right here we are in fourth, and after that battle, still in fourth, but close, right? 37 points away from number one. That's two battles against solid opponents, and we've got it. Well, sorry, I should say two wins against solid opponents, and we've got it, right? Not just two battles. Um, so we're thinking about what we might, what we might do. We just gotta keep playing strong. I think this last game. I think that was probably an error um, going to Jigglypuff against the Sand Shrew. We didn't need to do that. Yeah, we didn't need to do that, so I don't know. Tough to say. We did still end up winning, but it depends on who his last was. Could have, could have gone either way, I'm not sure. Still debating about that, but you can let me know what you thought. If that was a misplay or if it was an okay play, curious to hear your thoughts. But as I said in some previous videos, uh, once you get high up on the ladder there, sometimes it takes a little while between one game and the next, which is unfortunate, um, but uh, that's just the way it goes. They try to match you up with someone with reasonable ELO against you, so or compared to you, I should say. So sometimes it takes a bit, but we're okay. We're gonna we're gonna stick it out. We're gonna check out if there are any other battles going on, and maybe provide some insights to them as we wait here. We'll go into the Gen One. There's only four Gen One battles going on right now, which is unfortunate. But let's do a little bit of commentary and see what's going on. So we've got Nidorina Coffin. We just go Blizzard here, and Coffin goes Fire Blast, I think, and then we repeat. Blizzard Fire Blast. No, smart. All right, I switch out here into a water type. Oh, nice. Nid Arena trying to predict that. Goes down to the burn. Coffin can't explode now, so a water type comes out. And Starmie, we just go for the paralysis. And the switch out. Do we get it? Do we know Psychic? If so, we use it. If we don't, good defense and Krabby. Smart move. Just a nice crab hammer here. Great damage. Going for the Earthquake for damage. Ooh, and a nice crit. I'll go Body Slam here. Hmm, we still stuck with Crab Hammer and missed. Okay. Ooh, wow, lots of things just happened. All right, here we go. Um, I am going to switch to Chansey first turn. I don't want Kadabra to get paralyzed. I don't really care that much if Chansey is paralyzed and Starmie can't do a ton to Chansey. <laughs> now, the Persian Enjoyer does the same exact thing, and I love it so much. Um... And also goes for the freeze, just like we do. This is hilarious. Um, I'm going to go... No, I'm going to stick with the freeze. <laughs> this is too funny. Yeah, we're going for the freezes on each other. All right, I'm going to switch out to Cloyster here. The ice beam doesn't quite work out there for him. Uh, I'm going to go for a double edge here, and then into the explosion next turn, I think. But instead, we just do massive damage to Electabuzz. Love seeing that. We go back to Chansey here and hope that we get paralyzed from this Thunderbolt to remove any possibility of getting frozen, which we do, and that's amazing. Oh, Electabuzz knows Hyper Beam! <laughs> no! Wow! I did not see that coming at all. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, oh no, I forgot that Electabuzz gets Hyper Beam sometimes now. Yeah, that's not good for us. Um, 
All right, I'm gonna go Bell Sprout here, and we'll just put him to sleep. I think. Ooh, another crit. That's okay. Um, I am going to go with the Razor Leaf here. Do some good damage. And then I'm going to spam Stun Spore. Um, because if the switch out happens here, we could paralyze something. And if it doesn't happen here, then we can paralyze Electabuzz and put something else to sleep later. Uh, unless, of course, we miss. Hilarious. Hilarious. He lowers our special. He could switch out here and save Electabuzz, but we're speed tied, so we're just hoping we win the speed tie. Nope. Chansey comes out. Really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Um, I think we do have to go for the paralysis here against Chansey. Also kind of unfortunate. Um, but that'll let us switch out effectively. Oh, geez. I, I don't like this position. The, the hyper beam really messed me all up. I never even considered it for a second. It's been... Yeah, I never even considered it. We're in some trouble here. Um, I'm going to go Cloyster, I think. And, and I'm going to double edge. Yeah, he's going to switch out, right? All right, I'm really curious. 72% is a lot. Yeah, he doesn't get us. Our blizzard, 70 to 83. So he's right in the middle of our blizzard range. I think we try it. Ah, oh, no. Really unfortunate there. Really unfortunate there. Okay. Um, we have to save Doduo till the end because it's our physical attacker for Chansey. Boy, this is bad now. Yeah, this is quite bad now. Um, I don't even know what to do. Losing Chansey just kind of like confused me so much here. Um, I'm just going to use Psychic. He's going to go to Chansey, right? And if we let Kadabra get paralyzed, it still beats Starmie. It still beats, oh, well, Electabuzz has Hyper Beam. <laughs> forgot again. Oh my goodness. Um, but maybe Electabuzz can beat some things. The Electabuzz do duo speed combo can get some things done, maybe. Um, I think I'm just going to go to Bellsprout and hope. We can do some damage. Double edge. It's fully paralyzed again. Nope. But okay. At least now Chansey's in range for reasonable attacks. We can go for Body Slam here. If he wants to switch out, he can, but... Uh, and he does, so we're going to knock out Dragonair. That's great. Um, I'm just going to check if it's worth... Body Slam does minimum 38, so great. That wasn't a high roll. That's fine. We're okay with that. Electabuzz comes out. We're going to go with our own Electabuzz here, then. He does go for Thunderbolt. Okay. We're also going to go for Thunderbolt, then. Oh, he got the Paral- he got the Speed Tie. Mm, that's too bad, because now Chansey can come back out and recover up. No, Slowpoke comes out. That's very surprising to me. Um, he might know Earthquake, I guess. But, like, even if he knows Earthquake, it doesn't get us from this range. And he's probably just going to Amnesia, I would imagine. So I'm just going to Thunderbolt here. No, he does Earthquake. 
we do plenty of damage. We'll Thunderbolt again. So actually, let's check. I think Double Edge will get him. It will, that's great. But the Persian Enjoyer really knows what's up. It's been playing a great game here. And we have not been, so you could sacrifice Chansey here. You could go to Starmie. If he goes to Starmie, it gives us the opportunity to agility. This could be an, an interesting one. Nope, Chansey comes out. Smart. I need to check the Starmie damage calc. Blizzard does max 83. Jolteon comes out. Okay, so we obviously go Kadabra here and get paralyzed. No problem. Um, we are going to paralyze right back. Is he going to go Slowpoke? He could go Starmie. If he goes Starmie, we're in trouble, so we are just going to paralyze back. All right. Get one Psychic off. He gets an Earthquake off. Oh, he knows Rest. Oh, I didn't expect that. All right, we are just going to keep psychicking though. Starmie comes out. Do we drop it special? We do. Great. So I'm going to psychic again then as Slowpoke comes back in it. I guess he removed the paralysis, so he's feeling more confident now. Not totally sure. I'm going to psychic again. He wakes up here, so we'll paralyze him. Ooh, we get fully paralyzed. Not great. We will try for the paralysis once more. And we'll get it. That's good. We'll cover out of this, hopefully. It's going to come down to full paralysis here. Okay, that's good. Um... I think we just go for Psychic again. Nice crit. He might want to try to recover out of this so we can paralyze him. Okay, that's good. And it's like pretty decent for us. We do have the luxury of having Seismic Toss as our last, so it gives us a little bit of wiggle room here. Um, gonna psychic once and then have to heal. Psychic Blizzard. Don't know his last. It could be Thunder Wave, it could be Thunderbolt, could be Surf. I'm not sure. Alright, we're at full health here, so because we're at full health here, I'm I think he might switch to Blizzard, thinking we'll switch out does okay let's get a nice special drop please all right we'll take it um we're gonna recover up again nope now we are yes i'm surprised he hasn't gone slowpoke yet because slowpoke is now faster than us after that special drop um, we have a lot more pp than he has though um but he's trying to bleed us out of psychic so i don't know I'm going to Psychic again. If we get one more drop, then I'm going to switch out to Do Duo. Feel more confident doing that. Actually, I'm going to switch out right now. I think he's going to recover. And then go back to Kadabra. Clear the special drop. And maybe catch him on a thunder wave or something, I don't know. No, just a nice critical hit blizzard, unfortunate. We do get to recover up out of it. And Slowpoke is here. And I'm just gonna check. Seismic Toss on me does 23%. Oh, that's pitiful. That is pitiful. Um, We'll try to get a crit or a special drop or something. We get neither. He does go for the rest. Okay. That's not great. We'll keep with the psychic. 
here. Starmie comes out. Okay, that's fine. We're going to start tossing him, I think. I think it's time to start the tosses. Does do a lot of damage. Does do a lot of damage. We just need <laughs> multiple full paralyses. <laughs> uh, this battle is going to come right down to the wire, huh? I think I need to recover up here, just for safety. Oh, really unfortunate. So unfortunate. <laughs> I don't actually know if Seismic Toss is a free shot or not. Full Parallel? Hey! Alright, so one down. Slowpoke comes out get this one toss on him. It does nothing. We get a thunder wave on him. We don't. Oh, we really need to. Good predict on that Doduo coming in there, but didn't quite work out. We're not sure if his last move is Blizzard or um, Psychic. We're just trying everything here. Get the drop, please. No drop. All right, we'll try to recover out of this again. First time good. Second time good. We just need, oh no, no, okay. Um, all right, so what we need to do here is first turn body slam, second turn agility. If he paralyzes us, we need agility. Okay, we need agility either way, so we'll try for it here. And now the question is body slam to go for the para or double edge for the crit. Oh, actually, body slam crit gets him too. So we go body slam every time here and hope for the crit. Nope. Darn. Well, we made a good fight of it. Towards the end there, it was, um... I mean, we had gotten so far behind at the start. Oh, losing that Chansey was just unforgivable. Um, and this player, clearly someone who is experienced and quite skilled, even though their ladder ranking might be a little low. Really unfortunate to lose there. We tried to pull it back, but wow, yeah, Electabuzz knowing Hyper Beam. Just one of those things that, you know, when you take a break from Gen 1, like we did, um, the levels get recalibrated a little bit, the movesets get changed around a little bit, and the game that you knew that you've played for years now changes, and maybe you don't quite change with it. And that's, that's why we're not the king anymore. That is why we're not the king anymore. All right, so we've got Arcanine versus Clefable here. We don't mind this matchup too much. We can just go ahead and paralyze him. We'll really paralyze Snorlax, and that's fine. I'm going to go out to Grimer here. I'm not totally sure what Snorlax might want to do. It might want to Body Slam. It might want to Amnesia. We're just not going to worry about it because Grimer is amazing. And uh, we're going to go ahead and Sludge. Oh, darn. Should have exploded. I was thinking of, of exploding, but didn't end up doing it. Nido King's here. Does it get us? With Earthquake? No. So we can still explode. Oh, let's go. My favorite glitch. Grimer's still there. Oh, he gets a crit. Come on, man. After that, after that awesomeness, um, you're going to do that to me. That's too bad. Um, we could go Pinsir here, but we're scared of the Arcanine. We're pretty scared of the Arcanine in general. 
So like thinking about we don't want Raticate taking a ton of damage here. So I do think we'll go Pincer. And we'll just go for the safe body slam here. Nice crit. No para, that's okay. We can go Flareon here to take the Fire Blast pretty comfortably. Um, we can strike back with a Body Slam of our own, I think. Oh no. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, that's really good. I'm going to Quick Attack here. Oh, unfortunate. I know it seems a little silly to Quick Attack here, but... It does then put Arcanine in range for Pincer's Body Slam, um, or probably for Clefable's Body Slam, actually. Uh, yep, 21 to 25, so that's good. Let me go ahead and Body Slam here. We did see that Snorlax's plan was to Body Slam our Clefable. So we can always use counter if that's what Snorlax decides to do here. We get tons of damage there. We can body slam again. Yeah, I thought he'd blow up there, but that's okay. Uh, now we have a choice, our fastest Mon or the one we already revealed. The problem if we go Raticate is that our last two are a bug and a grass type, so both weak to flying, both weak to fire, um, not really so good, so I think we should go out into one of them. And I actually think Weependell's the one, because if, yeah, there we go. Um, like I was gonna say, because if something like Nidoking comes out, we've got it. If something else comes out, nothing one-shots Weependell. I think. I'm pretty sure even like a Moltres Fire Blast doesn't one-shot Weependell. Um, that was some good damage there, plus this double-edge damage. Still probably not in range for Raticate's Blizzard, right? Yep, still not in range for that. We do survive two Psychics though, so uh, we'll try to do something cheeky, I think, which is go Raticate. Oh, the special drop hurts our plan. I was gonna say go Raticate and then double into Weepin' Bell, but I don't think we can do that now. Raticate's Body Slam does 23, and Pincer's Hyper Beam does 36, which is enough. And we might get the crit or the paralysis or something. Alright, but now let's see. We'll see if Pinsir is faster than your last. And your last is Clefable. So the answer is no, not faster than your last. Okay. You also know Thunder Wave. So we needed to dance there. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm. I wonder if we can still win if we get paralyzed here. Maybe. I guess if I were him, I'd switch to Slowpoke on this turn. Thunderbolt does some damage. Oh, I think that'll seal it. I think that, oh, well, that will certainly seal it. Yeah, really unfortunate there. We were hoping to knock it out and then switch out to Weepin' Bell when this Eggy came out because um, take the explosion and then Pinsir could pull off a dance hyper beam into the Nido King, but it doesn't look like it's going to work out. Looks like our best bet is to go for the turn one wake up with Weepin' Bell here on the explosion miss. Uh, but we don't get it. And Cyclone Chris is going to take this one down. So a really unfortunate set for us here. Um, not sure 
what more we could have done in this particular battle. But the last battle, we had lots of opportunity. We had that one opportunity that we blew it. Um, but you'll see the perils of being on the Gen 1 ladder now, that our one win gave us 7, and our two losses gave us minus 63. Wow. So we plummet, you know, we were at 4th, and now we are ooh, down at 12th. So we're going to do some off-camera uh, off battles to try to get back up to that top four, top three spot, and then we'll pick up from there in our next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in our next video.